I first met Mary when she was a community activist and involved person uh, working in some of the challenging neighborhoods in our community with the Bethlehem Center. But she has um, passion and drive and she knows what the end game needs to be and that is that we all try to create a better place for people who need our help and particularly for uh, the young people um, who will be the leaders and, and movers and shakers of the next generation in this community and beyond. I grew up in the area of Spartanburg known as the Highland community. In my area, it's known for a lot of drug use and all that stuff. You could just talk to about things and she was very approachable and a people's person. She was kind of like uh, another mother figure to me. Would Rosa Parks be an example of what a heroine would be? Is there anybody that disagrees? She was what I consider to be one of those village raising a child, or she was my village or whatever, because she was one of them people that oversaw, you know, the programs and made sure, you know, that the teens did what they were supposed to do and helped us out whenever we needed help. And I, I just enjoyed being around Ms. Thomas. Mary Thomas uh, and I got together in the spring of 1998 after she was head of the Bethlehem Center for 11 years. I was looking for a new program grant officer and Mary and I had lunch and got to know each other and I made her an offer shortly thereafter and we've been a team ever since for the last 12 years. Mary Thomas is a servant. She is a risk taker. She is a compassionate leader, very concerned about the needs and the quality of life of Spartanburg County. I'm a country girl from Packlet. Grew up in um, Union County, I attended public schools in, at Jonesville Elementary and then of course the high school there. And uh, while I was at Jonesville, a home economics teacher introduced me to Winthrop. And I actually went to Winthrop, um, I majored in French and communication. I had the opportunity to study in France, in the south of France. I taught uh, French to third, fourth and fifth graders at Mary H. Wright. Cleveland and Park Hills. These were inner city schools. The Bethlehem Center taught me a lot about life. It taught me a lot about overcoming obstacles and hardships and it also ta taught me a lot about hope and what can happen when you instill hope and, um, and, and, and you give people an opportunity to see life outside of their community. Most people know Mary Thomas as the Executive Vice President of the Spartanburg County Foundation, um, but they don't know her as Minister Mary Thomas. And she's capable of wearing both ro uh, hats or uh, operating in both roles uh, without crossing over or belittling people because of her position, her accomplishments. She can make everybody in the room feel as though they're important at the same time. And, and I think that's a unique gift that some people don't possess. Well, I've always heard of Mary Thomas and seen her and admired her from afar, but never had the opportunity to work with her. When I was approached to be chair of Women Giving for Spartanburg, um, I had reservations. Uh, I have no experience or uh, confidence to lead an organization such as Women Giving, or a, an organization of that stature. And I relied on Mary as a mentor. Uh, I couldn't have been in better hands. She, <laughs> she has um, guided me. She personifies leadership for sure. Mary um, has such passion and she's so mindful that it has inspired me to become a better leader. Mary came to me at the end of 2002 when our resources were, were sort of uh, deplenishing from the economy as well as 9-11 and she was concerned about what we might do to be more creative in our grant making. And we had a long talk and she went out and sort of looked at collaboration in the community and we got together with the Mary Reynolds Babcock Foundation, the Randolph Hearst Foundation and Clemson University and leveraged some money with, with our foundation with them and raised money to, to, to start a new uh, initiative called Strengthening Voices which Mary uh, very collectively put together. And as a result,